What's going on you guys? It's Kevin back here with a brand new best loop of the month video. This video being the best solds or best sales of November 2021. Anybody that's new here, my name is Kevin. I'm a full-time reseller. I make these videos to inform you guys about, you know, my sales, my progression, and basically documenting my journey as a reseller. So if you're interested in any of that type of content, please make sure to go ahead and like as well, subscribe to the channel, and it helps me out. And yeah, let's get into our sales. We're going to start off with our number 10 sale going leading up to our number one sale all right you guys so number 10 were some converse all-star basketball evo mid shoes that we picked up at the converse outlet these were a men's size 11. we picked these up for 41 dollars and 34 cents we sold them for 110 dollars on ebay shipping was 14.41 fees were one dollar and 81 cents and we walked away with a profit of 52 dollars and 43 cents these we picked up a couple of weeks ago you guys and they sold pretty quickly so that's a bolo if you have a converse outlet near you definitely check it out a lot of the times they don't have sales but when they do it's worth to go in there and see what they have and yeah it's just a great overall brand so number nine you guys we got some adidas d rose 11s i think these were called brenda or something these were our men's size 11 and a half another basketball shoe we picked these up for 58 dollars and 30 cents at ross we sold these for 124.99 on ebay shipping was twelve dollars and six cents we got that zero dollar ebay fees which as you guys know i love and you know a whole lot of people who sell on ebay love it as well and we walk away with a profit of fifty four dollars and sixty three cents which is just great we picked those up like two months ago and they sold within a month because it did take me a little bit to list them because i've been slacking but that's on me i take full responsibility but on to sell number eight we got some Nike Metcon free training shoes or whatever. These are like a Patriots shoe. We picked these up back in January of 2021. So this year, you know, it was actually like, we picked these up back in like December 30th or 30 or January 2nd of 2021. Either December 30th, 2020 or January 2nd, 2021 for $32.40. We sold this for $102 on eBay. Paid $14.41 to get it shipped out. $0 eBay fees. And we walk away with a profit of $55.19, which is just crazy. Uh, these did take a little while to move. Not going to lie, you guys. But we still got a, a good amount for them. And, you know, it was like a very specific shoe. Like Nike Metcon Freeze and uh, NFL Team Patriots, which I know people are. I, I know it's a good team. I don't watch sports. But I see them a lot around like a lot of stores particularly nike stuff i do look up but these um i got them for a deal and i couldn't leave them on to sale number seven you guys we got a nike sherpa this was a white sherpa men's size small weird size not weird size size that you know people say don't move a lot but we picked this up for 27 dollars at ross sold it for 120 dollars on mercari we shipped this in a padded fly rate envelope, so it was $8.49. Fees were a hefty $15.78, but we still walk away with a great profit of $68.73. On to sell number six, you guys. We got some Adidas Addy Zero Young Kings. These were a men's size 11. Pretty cool shoe overall. We picked this up for $18.36 at Ross. We sold them for $100 on eBay. Shipping was $9.32. Fees were $0, and we walk away with a profit of $72.32, which is crazy. These did take quite a while to sell as well. Um, some of the some of our sales here, you know, they've taken around a year or more to move. Unlike the Converse's that we picked up a couple weeks ago and those um, Adidas basketball shoes that were sale number nine. We do hold on to inventory sometimes. So price high, leave it there. Sometimes it sells, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, it's just a part of the game. Um, if you're really into moving stuff fast, definitely look into lowering your prices but if you're like me don't really do all that because sometimes it's a lot of work either i forget or i'm just like i'm not gonna touch it so yeah on to sale number five you guys we got some nike vapor max pluses that we picked up at the nike outlet surprisingly we picked these up for 106 dollars sold them for 200 dollars on ebay this is without a box or anything so they sold for retail this is the all red colorway. We paid $9.32 to get it shipped out, paid $0 in eBay fees, and we walk away with a profit of $84.68. This sold within like a week of it getting listed, 
and uh, we picked it up refurbished from the Nike outlet from the refurbished program. It said like new, but shoes looked 100% new. So I listed them as new, you know, no defects or anything. I saw, inspected the shoe, nothing was wrong with it, no pop there, bubble or anything. They went to authentication and they passed. So, you know, some people are like, uh, isn't that kind of bad that you're, you know, refurbished shoes, selling them as new? I'm like, Nah, if the shoe is new, it's new, you know? And the main thing that to get out of this is that they did pass authentication. I think we have another cell here that um, is the same, so let's get to it. I think it's like up there, but we're gonna get to it soon. Well, it's actually the next cell. So the best fourth cell of November 2021, you guys, we got some Nike Air Zoom Vapor X hardcore tennis shoes these were men's size nine we picked these up at the nike outlet for 63 dollars and seven cents we sold these bad boys for 160 dollars on ebay originally had them listed at 200 i took a best offer i think it was either the same day i listed it or the next day I had to take that offer he sent me 150 i cornered with 170 he sent back 160 and i took the 160 we paid 11 dollars and 41 cents to get it shipped out to california pay zero dollars in ebay fees and we walk away with a profit of $85.72, which is just great. These were the exact same thing. I got them from the Nike outlet from the refurbished wall. They were like new. No, I think there was like only pre-owned listings listed on eBay. But um, the last sale was like 160 exactly, I believe. It's a very clean shoe and I listed it high and we got a good amount for it. Um, some people can say I probably, I probably did undersell it just because it did sell so fast, but um, I'm into moving products here at the moment, you guys. I'm not not really too keen on holding like a lot of shoes anymore. I'm, I'm just kind of switching up my business model uh, more to like my Amazon ways where like I want to move product, you know, get money back in so I can keep spending it and all that good stuff. Before I wouldn't do that. I would just wait as long as I have to to sell a product at, let, at let's say like the highest price. But now um, I'm switching it up a little bit. So it's definitely working out. And um, we're going to see how far we can get with it. Some items I do hold, it really all depends. But um, right now I'm trying to move inventory. Not as fast as I can, but as fast as it will sell. On to sell number three, you guys. We got some Adidas Harden Volume 5 Supernatural All Red Polka Dot Basketball Shoes. These were a men's size 11. We picked these up at the Adidas outlet for $52.16. We sold them for $149.99 on eBay. I paid $10.85 to get them shipped out. And we walked away with a profit of $86.98, which is just great. Took around a month to sell, so don't sleep on Hardens, you guys. I think they're one of the best like Adidas basketball shoes, and they move pretty quickly and at a good price. So, um, Bolo, I guess. On to our top second best sale of november 2021 we got some nike tour premier golf shoes that we picked up at Ross. these were a men's size 10 and a half we picked these up for 32 dollars and 40 cents sold them for 155 dollars on goat paid zero dollars to get them shipped out goat takes their fee of 23 dollars and 52 cents and we walk away with a fat profit of 99 dollars and eight cents which is crazy uh these did take a while to sell to be honest you guys it's one of those items where i was willing to wait to get a good amount for it and i did i think i waited i picked this up back in like march of 2021 so a good little while but we got them out the inventory which can't complain about i actually had another pair of these and these moved way quicker i think they were a little bit of a bigger size but like i said no complaints and on to sell number one you guys we got some nike phantom gt elite soccer cleats not a surprise i think the last three months number one sale has been elite cleats so these were a men's size nine they were the pink and black colorway i believe we picked these up for 27 dollars at marshall's back in april of 2021 we sold these bad boys for 200 dollars on goat pay zero dollars to get them shipped out goat takes a fee of 24 dollars and we walk away with a profit of 149 dollars even which is you know insane you guys you gotta love these shoes specifically the elites in total we got 14 pair of elite cleats back in april huge come up on those i really cannot complain at all and they are moving relatively at their own pace like i said this is another shoe that i'll wait let's say a whole year to sell just to get that you know 149 dollars profit uh retail on these is i believe 250 which is crazy and then we got them for 25 bucks plus tax so shout out to Marshalls, 
y'all are gold for that hopefully we can get some more high-end shoes in the future after all this like items not getting to the stores and stuff but anyway you guys that's going to conclude the top 10 flips top 10 sales of november 2021 i really hope you did enjoy that video if you did please make sure to go ahead and like also comment down below what you think of the sales i really do appreciate you for watching to the very end hope you have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this and as always stay great